Hello, all, and welcome. And I'm the McDowell Philosopher. And, and as I'm uh, uh, giving you this intro, I'm laughing my ass off because at the moment I'm looking at this uh, post from a woman. Lord only knows what she looks like. But she is posting what she wants in a man. If you fit this criteria, then contact me. <laughs> I love the, the, their intro message. Men, don't approach Ask Me Out unless you meet the following criteria. And automatically, uh, this tells you something about the entitlement issues of woman, women in general. And if you think that this woman is in any way different than the majority of women, you are kidding yourself. This woman is a perfect example of how the majority of Western women have become. I would say 99% of American women are like this. 99% of Western women are like this. The majority of women, the vast, vast majority, vast majority. You might have a needle in a haystack somewhere that isn't, but needles in haystacks are pretty hard to find. Pretty, pretty hard so you don't live your life by the possibility of maybe possibly perhaps stumbling upon that rare needle no men don't approach or ask me out unless you meet your filing criteria number one of my unrealistic criteria that will leave me alone and living with cats who will eventually eat me when i die <laughs> height at least six two men you should be used to this cutoff by now <laughs> Right, so we should be used to it because she's now telling you. Yeah, because all women are like that. Because all women kind of, sort of, definitely have this cutoff. We want men that six, are 6'2", even though a very small percentage of the population are over 6 feet tall. But, you know, I have to have that small percentage. Oh, but it gets better. It gets better. The entitlement just gets better. She's entitled to much more than a man that's just 6'2". Oh, yeah. Income. No less than 85000 per annum. She's trying to sound intelligent. She means per year. Really? You know how few people actually make that much money? So if you couple the 6'2 or more and uh, 85 per year, you're talking about a very small percentage of the population. This would be the median income today if wages kept up with inflation. Oh, I see. You're very reasonable in requesting this income because that's what it should be. So this is just the median. So I'm not, not asking anything that's all that... Uh, unusual. I'm not asking too much. This is what the median income should be. If you can't meet this, you are <laughs> adjusted for inflation subpar. <laughs> We're subpar. So get this, guys. So if you don't make 80000 per year and are not 6'2 or taller, something you have no control over, by the way, you're a subpar man. Really? Very interesting. Do tell. Next, car. Any model that isn't less than 35. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, this woman had better be a perfect 10, still very young, still very fertile, and she'd better be uh, the most perfect piece of ass you even had, ever had. And even then, I wouldn't be interested in her. Any model that isn't less than $35,000 brand new. No Toyotas or Hondas. <laughs> oh, my God. So automatically what she's telling you right there is you're a status symbol for me, and your shit is my shit because I'm going to, of course, be expected to drive your car. I'm going to drive your car, and you're expected to let me drive your car, and I'm going to be expected to be seen in that car, and I can't be seen in a piece of crap Yugo or Toyota or a Honda no, no. If you drive those cars, you don't make enough money for me. Yes, but women care about our souls. They care about a man's inner self. They care about who and what he really is. They don't care about money. Body fat. Yes, really. <laughs> this woman is so entitled. She not only wants you to be wealthy, but she also wants you to be really, really fit. Uh-huh. Talk about unrealistic expectations. What was the last time? That's like saying I want a hot chick that's smart, too. <laughs> How many of those are there? Not too many. No, more than 12%. This used to be 10%, but I had to lower my standards because of how often men fail. <laughs> you gotta love this. You can't make this shit up. So men don't meet your unrealistic expectations. So they're the failure. Not you, because your expe expectations are not only fair, but they're perfectly reasonable. And they're, they're the expectations of every woman. So men fail women yeah okay next shoes she has expectations for his shoes even oh my god no vans no adidas new balance what are you talking about those are uh, uh, those are like those are the most comfortable shoes out there new balance are real comfortable what are you talking about oh, i can't be comfortable oh, i see or anything you got at jc penny so she's all about status. She's your typical whore. She's all about money and things and status. Well, she's your typical woman, so she's your typical whore. Clothing. No Van Heusen. 
<laughs> and the next one, no video games, period, period. Oh, of course, oh, because I'm a princess. I'm a precious princess. I'm a precious princess. Look at me. Look at me. You can't be in a relationship with me and not look at me. Of course, she'd probably say, say no sports if she could, but she knows that, you know, she'd get zero there. I mean, I'd have absolutely no chance there, so I have to at least tolerate that, at least until I get him in my pocket and get him addicted to me with my golden coups, but no video games whatsoever, yeah, none. I can't account how many times men have told me they don't play video games, and I turn around and catch them playing video games. Gross. What's wrong with that? What's your problem? What's your problem with video games, honey? Can you ex actually explain that? Is it, could it be that if he's playing the video game, He's not paying attention to you? Of course not. Yeah. Women are attention whores, guys. Women don't like video games because they're attention whores. That's their problem with video games. They want your attention focused on them always, and you get engrossed in that game, and they're insecure, so they feel like, oh, he loves the game more than just me. Next, career, professional. That means medical. No vets or pharmacists. <laughs> what are you talking about? Do you know the veterinarians, a lot of them make moolah money? Oh, but you're all about status. So it has to be a real doctor. We can have a veterinarian or a pharmacist. Some of those pharmacists make good money. You know they have to go to school for a long time to be a pharmacist and legal. Oh, so essentially, she's not coming out and saying, I want a doctor or a lawyer, but I want a doctor or a lawyer. I love how these feminists try to change the uh, language of things to make you think that they're not your typical average feminist woman cunt that wants a doctor or a lawyer. I want a doctor or a lawyer. I want a doctor or a lawyer, yeah. Medical or legal. She doesn't say doctor or lawyer because that would be, be just too too typical, huh, too too obvious, which is, but you are typical and obvious of all women. You're the typical woman. You want a doctor or a lawyer. Must spend time inside a courtroom. Yeah, she's seen too much TV. Uh, we'll consider exceptions if an aerospace engineer, perhaps civil as well, plus 25% on the income requirement in the latter case. <laughs> So add another uh, twenty, thirty thousand dollars, okay, to the income. So if you're a, if you're an engineer or something, you need to be you need to be making at least a hundred thousand dollars a year. I see. Next one is absolutely no gamers or computer geeks. Some of them guys make a lot of money, honey. Yeah, but if it's a gamer or computer geek, well, reference number one must be six two, and then reference number three body fat. Yeah, because gamers they tend to be geeks and fat. Okay. No, no, you're not. Uh, <laughs> You're not labeling or identifying people in, in a particular group. Oh, no. You know she's a leftist and obviously a, a fallen for the identity politics bullshit. Yeah, I'm sure all gamers are geeks and losers because they're gamers, right? Right? Just like all black people are Democrats, right? Right? Next, must own their own home. No renting, especially in your apartment. <laughs> I'm going to tell you why this is. The reason she wants you to have your own home is because that's equity. <clears throat> and then if she gets you to be stupid enough to marry her, she can take the home. So it's just an added little grab bag incentive for when you get divorced. Next, no cats. Men who live with, alone with cats are gross, sad, and unattractive. And yet, oh, I love the double standard. What about women who live alone with cats? Oh, they're wonderful and attractive. <laughs> okay, honey. Do you have any cats? Must cook. No, it... What? Why would I need... To so you don't need to cook, even though you're a woman, but I need to cook. And I can't have cats. <laughs> Interesting. I hate cats anyway. No, I like cats, but I wouldn't own one. Uh, must go. So must cook. No exceptions. If I catch you sneaking a meal from somewhere like five guys, it's over. Take a hike. What? What are you talking about? Wait, 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 wait. So what if I, say? I, I stop at a, a, and get a meal at a restaurant? I'm out? I have to cook all the, oh, I see, because you're going to eat all your meals with her, so you're going to serve her, so you're going to be cooking for her, so she wants somebody to serve her, to be her servant, even if he's going out, making the money, well, now he's got to come home and serve her as well. Hey, don't expect me to tell any domestic duties. uh-uh, I'm a modern woman, which means I don't do jack shit. Oh, -ho! <laughs> I see. Next, must go to the gym and work out daily. Meanwhile, I get to be a big fat Michelin man looking slob. That also absolutely means having and meeting protein and calorie goals every day. What? What is this? What, is this some kind of joke? This is unbelievable. So she, she, so you're like her slave. So she's going to keep track and calorie count everything you eat 
Everything you intake and control. Oh, yeah, this, she's a real catch, isn't she? Wouldn't, wouldn't you just love to be with her? Wouldn't you love to be this woman who, with this woman who's standing over your shoulder and watching you eat? Uh, 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 uh. That goes over your calories. That goes over your maximum calories for a day. You can't eat that, but I'm hungry. I'm too bad. I can't have you get putting on any weight. You are my man, and you can't get fat. I love it. <laughs> it, is, it is almost like she's taking what she thinks the expectations of a traditional man would be of a traditional woman and flipping it on its head. And since this is what men want or used to want, because they don't, they never really acted like this toward women, and and they never have and never will. But sh- this is what she thinks in her mind, because she's clearly a feminist, and feminists created all this bullshit myth about the past, how men were actually this controlling when they never were, to justify them being the cunts they are now. And she's taken all these bullshit myths and flipped them on their head and said, well, it was okay for men to be this way so i can be this way too but she's it's personified them to a point where oh my god it's totally unrealistic even if men were like this even in a minimal way at some point they were never like this how many men were out there counting how many calories their wife ate i mean if she says she gets fat tell her she's fat but yeah you look fat yeah i would certainly do that but i'm not gonna control how much she eats i'm not gonna stand there and look over her fucking shoulder have calorie goals for her and try to control everything she fucking does and tell her you have to do this job or you're out and you have to be this tall, or you're out. You have to drive this kind of car, or you're out. Or you have to have this amount of body fat, or you're out. What is this nonsense? You must meet calorie goals. Whose goals? Your goals? Jesus Christ. You say, you're worse than the worst mommy on earth. Now, what man would want to be with you? And by the way, what woman would think any man would want to be with them with this amount of requirements? This is insanity. I mean, you talk about somebody who's not only lacking in self-awareness, but is totally solipsistic and living within their own world. She just has no grasp of objective reality. She has no empathy. What is this shit about em- women having empathy? <laughs> they, they don't empathize with anybody. They just project shit. They just take what they feel, and they project it on other people, and then they say, I know how you feel, because that's how I feel. That's women's idea of empathy, okay? They have no empathy. Just look at this woman. If she had empathy, she would understand that this fucking list of criteria makes a man run the other fucking way and that no man would ever be with her after reading this shit. And finally, healthy family relationship or as an orphan, no baggage. What? What is this? Talk about an arbitrary requirement or is an orphan? It must be a typo. She must have meant to say or isn't an orphan because why, why would you have this requirement of somebody, okay, healthy family relationship or as an orphan? Because generally speaking, orphans oftentimes, uh, you know, they've got baggage, okay? So I'm going to assume she went to write or is not an orphan. Now, very interesting. So what, have you had bad relationships in the past with some guy that was an orphan or something, honey? Oh, so now you've got this requirement to know orphans. Oh, of course, because all orphans are the same, just like all black people are the same, and all Mexicans are the same, and all white people are the same, and systematic oppression is, of course, real. Yeah. Very interesting list. This list ought to be called, I'm a woman that wants to be single forever. Here's my criteria for a man. <laughs> She doesn't want men to have cats, but I guarantee you, if she doesn't have any cats now, she's going to have a whole hell of a lot of them, and they're going to be chewing on her feet and toes after she dies, miserable and alone. So let me know what you think of this woman's criteria for a man in the comments section of this video, and let me know whether or not you think this woman is representative of the majority of Western women, which, by the way, I think she is. They have such unrealistic criteria, and of course, she has no picture, of course. For all we know, she could be a big, fat, disgusting blob, but of course, as we also know, Western women are so entitled, they think they're all that in a bag of fucking chips, so even if they're big, fat, disgusting blobs, they think they're entitled to Mr. Fucking Perfect. And please like and subscribe and donate to my Patreon if you feel so inclined because you know that YouTube will demonetize this video. I am the Mental Philosopher and I wish you a good day. Take care.